Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Byers and this is any 255 and we are showing you how to do the effects in Maya and the next one we're going to do is lightning. Okay, so um, the whole idea of lightning is very simple. It's one of the most simple ones so this shouldn't take long. So the idea is that you want to create a locator. So we're going to create a locator and we go ahead and move it up where we want the lightning to start and they could be together um, let's do a control D and we can have you know the start of the lightning here so we're gonna go ahead and click on this one and then shift select this one and go to effects lightning go into the option box Okay, you want to kind of start between curve segments uh, between 20 and 30, depending on the type of lightning you want. You can even go up to 40 if you'd like. I'm going to do 30. Thickness, the line thickness is usually pretty goofy, meaning that the line thick is, thickness is way too much. I'm going to do, um, instead of 1, I'm going to do 0 0.25. I'm going to leave everything the same. Now the glow intensity, uh, that's way too high. Um, we can make those changes later, but let's go ahead and put it to 0.1. Okay, go ahead and click on create, and there's our lightning. And you can animate this by moving this around, and animating the movement if you want to, which is pretty cool. Um, and so what does is, what is lightning entail? We've got a surface, which what we see here. We have a point light um, with the intensity that is, um, well, looks like it's something that we can't actually change. So what we can do is we can break that connection to change that intensity. Let's go ahead and look at what it looks like. Uh, when we render it. So again we need the software renderer for this to render properly. Okay, let's get this set up. Production quality, highest quality. And then you know we're gonna go ahead and render HD 540 as a test. Let's go ahead and render it out and that's what it looks like. Now the intensity is pretty high um, for the point light and for the actual lightning bolt let's take a look at this the glow intensity is at 0.1 but it's it's glowing pretty heavy so I'm gonna go ahead and break that connection and we're gonna have a glow intensity to zero let's go ahead and render that out and see what we have okay then we, we have no glow intensity at all the light source only works okay intensity let's go ahead and break that. Let's delete the expression. And let's see what we have here as far as scale. Won't let us move that. So let's go ahead and break that connection as well. So we can move it around if we want to. Here we go. And I'm going to put a floor plane on so we can kind of see what's happening. And let's go ahead and render that out. Okay, so you can see that you can see that uh, point light is actually working and we can move it around now that we want we can change the color if we want so that's kinda nice. now it's independent from when, when we had it and that's really important that you can uh, I can show you how to break the connections showing you break the, breaking the connections will allow you to have a little more vers versatility in your scenes alright and the intensity for the lightning bolt though Let's see, we have intensity here at zero, and we don't. We want to have a little bit in there. So let's do a point zero five. Point zero five. There we go. And let's go ahead and re-render that. That looks better. We don't have much there. We'd probably even go down to point two five. Point zero two five. And that's even better. I like that. Okay, so we just get a little bit in there and it blends in pretty good. All right, that looks good. So that's basically lightning, um, and you can change the color. 
Now, let's go in here and see what's happening with that. Looks like they're kind of stuck. Let's see if we can do like a red. Let's go ahead and break that connection. Now we can change any color we want. Let's do red and incandescence. Let's go ahead and break that connection and we can turn that to a red as well. There we go. Or maybe an orange. A very dark orange would be good. Okay, try that. So go ahead and render it. You can see we changed the actual glow intensity color and the incandescence color itself to you can do whatever color you want. Okay. I just chose the orange, but we can do something really fun like purple, a really bright purple or dark purple. So for the color we could go, and then the incandescence we could go really dark if we wanted to. Something like that. Let's go ahead and render that out. And you get the idea. Very cool. All right. So incandescence is how bright it is. You have to have it on, and you can turn it all the way up if you want to to really make it bright. Here we go. And that's what you want for lightning, OK? All right, so that's one thing you can do. Let's go ahead and uh, turn everything off or delete it. OK. We have this locator and this locator. So how about if we do more than just two? What if we want to do a group? So let's go ahead and do a group. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and duplicate this over. And let's go ahead and do uh, click on the first one. Let's just select click on them around like that. And then we can do something that looks like this. And since we already we've done lightning before, everything's all set up. And there you go. Now you have something that looks like the instructions that I had before. You can move that around. You can move this around and animate this and so on and so forth. Pretty fun and cool stuff. Okay? So you can do a lot of cool stuff with the lightning. All right. So that's it for the lightning, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.